Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to what is only my second ever video on home soil. I am back in London at the world famous Borough Market by London Bridge to try and find some authentic Thai street food in London. So for any of you not familiar with Borough Market, it's London's most famous food market. Loads and loads of fresh produce. There's amazing cheeses, cold meats, seafood, loads of fruit, loads of vegetable shops. Um, the amount of fresh produce here is endless, but they also have loads and loads and loads of decent street food options. Now the place that I'm going to today, you've got to, uh, you've got to search a little bit for it. There's a sign here saying hot food this way. Kind of walk in the, the, the entrance to the market, go straight, and you're gonna see this sign hot food this way head down the side of that and it's going to bring you out into like a little courtyard and that is where our first stop is going to be there's loads of different types of street food here but obviously this being a thai food channel i thought for my viewers in thailand i would show you hopefully that you can get some authentic thai food in london salt beef falafel there's a Malaysian here as well. Now I've got to give a shout out to this place, Rudy's. I came here yesterday, an unbelievable goat curry. All right, but this is where we're headed. Kanom Krok. Any all right, we're getting this one, guys. We're getting this. Aloy, aloy. I'll ask you again. Aloy, aloy tea sword? Tuk yang. Tuk yang aloy. Tuk yang aloy. Okay, club. All right, guys. So this is probably the first time I've ever seen Canon Croc in London. Uh, not the sort of snack that you usually find. Um, I think these are actually topped with... Um, Ngadam, which are black sesame, I think. Um, right? I mean, Ngadam. Black sesame. Yeah. All right, black sesame. Usually in Bangkok, we get them with ton hom, which is spring onion and sweet corn, which I don't like either of those. So I'm very uh, excited to try these kanam krok from London. This is the, this is the boss. Alright guys, so we're gonna get pack of power and we've got the we've got the secret stash fresh in from Thailand yesterday. Som see some Alright Som is gonna make me my pack of power. We order pet pet. Scan them with a bit of oyster sauce, a little bit of Naman Hoy. See you dumb, Chama. Oh. Before that, it's already made our secret sauce. Uh, so I can't tell you what's in it, guys. You're going to kill me otherwise. So, Nampa. Yes, I've got to say guys, this is smelling unbelievable. Haven't eaten Thai food for a week now, guys. So what better dish to get back into it 
then a legit Padka power to warm me up. I am absolutely freezing. Did I tell you it's like four degrees here? I've gone from 35 to four degrees. I'm gonna need a lot of chili to warm me back up, guys. And so Som is the Som's the master chef here. This is legit, I'm telling you people, this is legit stuff all over that egg. We've even got some Piknam Pak. Oh, nice. Cup one cup. Let's have a look, guys. Cup on my cup. Right, so chilies, lots of them. Got that Piknam Pla, what looks to be a perfect egg. Oh, look at that, she's got the ooziness from the egg as well. Guys. Yes. All right, so we've got, we've got plenty of basil. Oh, look at that. Loads and loads of chili. Rice looks good. I can't wait to dig into this, guys. So the last thing I was expecting to find at Borough Market was a legit pack of pal. When I came down here before, all I noticed was uh, Geng Masamam and the Kanam Krok. So I wanted to try it last time I was here, but we ended up trying something else because I wasn't sure, like, being in London, if it was going to be any good. And then I watched uh, a Thai YouTuber, Lukinu. I'll put a link to her thing in there. And um, she said it was really, really good. So I thought I'd come down here and try it. But I thought I'd be getting the Masamam or the Pad Thai. But when I got down here, they actually had Pakka Pao Gai. Uh, I saw some cooking it and I thought I cannot pass this up. Wasn't expecting it to be legit, but it looks absolutely fantastic. Runny egg. We got loads and loads of chilies. What I want has just given me a little bit of extra uh, pick nam pla. Bottoms up. Mmm. Well, I'll tell you what, right? After, after a week of eating absolutely no Thai food, mm, that is just what I wanted. It's a touch. I'm trying to work out, there's something in it. I can't put my finger on the flavor. Mm. She said they got a secret sauce. I know there's black, black soy sauce in there, see you dumb. I know there's some naman hoi, some oyster sauce. I just saw I put it in. But I can't work out what else is in there. There's a, there's a big hit of lime juice in the, in the pick nam pla. Mm. I think that's what I can taste. A heavy, heavy hit of lime juice and I like it. Mm. Mm. That has made me so happy. Usually I bring Kapaulis back with me, then cook it straight away when I get back to England for everyone, but I forgot. So I've had no pack of pal for a week now. This, very, very good pack of pal, especially for England. I would say, I don't remember having a better pack of pal than this in England. I never, I can't remember ever getting actual Kapao leaves in England. Um, so that is, I'm gonna give that a, Four and a half out of five. Um, very, very, very good first dish. Now on to the next one. All right, what a one is kindly going to give me some beef to try. Wow. 
Wow, okay, thank you very much. All right, next up, guys, I've got Geng Panang, and this looks special, All right? The beef, I just spoke to Warawan, and she just told me the beef comes from Ginger Pig, which is a butcher in the market. Um, and it's all free range beef and um, the beef in England is just so much better than Thailand so I am thinking this is going to be absolutely incredible it's chuck steak and it's stewed for one and a half hours oh my god look at this guys I'm just going to pull this apart with a spoon look All right, one more time to show you that's not a fluke let's go through this one just with a spoon with a plastic spoon just topped with a bit of Bai Makud, some tapir lime leaves. Right, um, on to the Geng Panang. Mm. She's right, Warawan is right. That beef is absolutely unbelievable. Mm. Literally just falls apart in your mouth. Heavy flavour. It's not too spicy. It's a touch sweet for me personally, but you guys, you know that you can't hold that against the restaurant. Mm. Nice bit of freshness from the lime leaves, but the main thing about this, as I said before, is the is just how tender that beef is, and um, that is so flavorful. I very rarely order beef in Thailand unless it's like Nua Tun or Nua Pue in uh, a Kwitiao shop. That's the only time I order beef when I know it's been stewed for like seven hours because it's just the beef in Thailand just isn't on the same level as. Um, as the UK. We've got some of the best beef in the world and this is absolutely fantastic. Mm. Guys, if you're wondering why there's a load of boxes and stuff behind me, it's because the market is absolutely rammed. There is like a little like stairway with some uh, places to sit and there's a load of tables around, but I got here too late. But the staff here very kindly allow me to just take a couple of chairs from another restaurant and just sit behind the, the restaurant so they've been very accommodating so far and uh, even better than their hospitality is the food right so next up we've got I've got to try a little bit of the Massimum haven't I before I before I before I go it would be crazy for me not to it looks it smells incredible Another thing, we were talking about the beef, right? But another thing that I've got to say is much better in England, one of the only two things, beef and potatoes. Cup on cup. Oh, wow, look at this, guys. Amazing. All right, this looks legit. They've even got the crispy fried onions on top, the hom jiao. We've got a big potato, a couple of chicken thighs, which is what I like to see, peanuts. And they make the hom jiao, the crispy fried onions, in-house. And I know that because I saw them cooking them earlier. And I thought they look like stewed onions, but obviously the longer they cook for, the crispier they go. Right, let's do the spoon test. We've done the beef, let's do the chicken. And that's just falling straight apart. Look at that. Oh, there is no bone. Nice. At least it's not chicken breast. You just don't want a chicken breast in a curry, do you? Unless it's boneless thighs. We haven't even got a mess about. Look at that. Guys, guys, guys. Potato, yeah. All right, nice. All right, so next, I can't believe I'm eating this much food. All right, the next, uh, well, I say that, I eat this much food in every video, don't I? But in London, I try and keep the price down, don't I? All right. First bite, that is legit. That is legit. I was expecting it to be sweeter, because we're in England, and the Penang was quite sweet. But if anything, it's more tart from the tamarind. Right, for anyone not familiar with Massimum, I don't want to um, 
I don't want to baby you guys. I know most of you have eaten masa man, but it's it's more like a it's more like a Malay curry, more like Indian influences. So you've got like um, a lot of Indian spices, a lot of cinnamon, a lot of star anise, cloves, nutmeg, coriander. You can really tell the difference when you get the like freshly cooked crispy onions instead of like commercially bought ones, which is there's nothing wrong with them. I use them all the time at home, but when you cook your own, special. Mm. A nice English potato. But look, I've got nothing against Thai potatoes either. They're just a bit sweet and they taste like a little bit like, like sweetie sometimes. Mm. No, this is decent. Look, order this. When you come down here, order this for sure. This is better than the Penang. Much better. This is probably better than the Bag Kapow as well. Right, guys, you know how I feel about Pad Thai. Not my favourite dish in the world. I was going to skip it, but everyone's been ordering it. And it does smell and look really good. So I'm going to try the Pad Thai. And if I've got room, I'm going to try the Masamam. And then I've pretty much just done the whole menu. Um, now, I could easily go into a shop in Bangkok, into one of my restaurants and order five dishes. It'll probably cost me about a tenner. I think this is going to cost me about 60 quid. But I will tell you the final total at the end. I think it's about eight pound a dish, nine pound a dish, something like that. But um, the Canon Croc are only three pound 50. And actually, this is not expensive for London at all. Just coming from Thailand, you know. Right, and last but not least, we've got the Pad Thai Gong Sod. So fresh shrimp Pad Thai. Oh, these shrimp are massive. Peanuts, chili, egg, dried tofu, not dried tofu, fried puffy tofu, uh, rice noodles, and she's giving me a bit of extra chili because she knows. I think this is spring onion, would usually be garlic chives, Chinese chives, but obviously you can't really get them in England too handily. Um, so yeah, right, we've got, we've got a wedge of lime to squeeze over the top. I do apologise if this is a bit shaky, guys. Um, I'm trying to do everything one-handed and I have got a table. All right, so as with all the other produce, the meat, the chicken, uh, the prawns come from a fishmonger that we saw earlier in the, in the market. Prawns are good, fat, plump, well-cooked. I was a bit worried because they sort of pre-cooked the prawns and then they throw them back into stir-fry. So I was worried they'd be overcooked, but they're not. They're actually cooked perfectly. Um, I like my prawns butterfly. They're not butterfly, but they are very nice. You get four fat ones. I think this is £9.50. I'm going to go in with the actual pad thai. Now, this is uh, the most popular dish here by a mile, looking at how many they're cooking. She said about 200 per day at the moment. Um, the two guys at the front, they're just banging these out all day. Now, I'm not, this is the one I'm expecting to le like, this is the one I'm expecting to like least, just because you know I don't really massively like Pad Thai. I don't hate it, but it's not my favorite thing in the world. Very sour, actually. Very sweet, very sour. Lots of fish sauce. They make the sauce themselves from scratch every day. Now, if I just, I like the fried tofu. The fried tofu is kind of like acted like a sponge and took on uh, some of those other flavours. But overall, I've got to be honest, it's not bad. This was the only thing I ordered. I, like, I've been, I wouldn't be disappointed, but the other three dishes are much better. The Masamam off the hook, the Pad Kapow, very, very good. The Geng Panang, amazing as well, um, purely for the softness of the beef. It's nice. It's not. Yeah, it's decent. Helen would love this, put it that way. The last thing I want to try, the thing I'm most excited about trying actually, is actually the Canon Croc, which are the little coconut pancakes. 
<laughs> All right, guys, next up, I've got these bad boys. I've got the Canon Croc, which are a hyper, if you're not familiar with these, hyper popular street snack in Bangkok. These are like five baht in Bangkok, which is about 12 pence or 15 cents in US money. A little bit more expensive here, but only 350 for eight here, which I think is good value. As I said before, they've got ladam on the, on the top, which is black sesame. Usually, usually in Bangkok, we get these with ton hom, which is spring onion, and khao pod, which is sweet corn. Now, I've always found the spring onion and the sweet corn to be a bit strange on a sweet dessert. So for me, I would much rather see some black sesame. Um, if you're not familiar with how they make these, they, they steam like a coconut, milk, rice flour, rice, sugar batter in a cast iron pan with like loads of little semicircle sort of divots out of it. Um, and they steam so they're kind of soft in the middle and crispy on the bottom. You just eat them all in one. Oh, they've got desiccated coconut in as well. So they're like crispy. I'll show you, look. I want you, I want to get really close up. So they're crispy on the outside, then they're kind of hard and then they go really, really, really soft on the inside. Mm. They're absolutely delicious. I'll tell you what, actually, if I could get these in Bangkok more readily available with sesame seeds, I would order them all the time but I just don't like spring onion on a dessert, so that's why I don't order these that much. But um, they are very, very good. And what a way to end a wonderful, unexpectedly good meal uh, in the heart of London. I was definitely not expecting to get authentic Thai street food uh, from anywhere, really, let alone um, in the middle of a, a market full of farang. But, there you go. All right, guys, I thought that was the end of my eating, but it's not. She's just brought out a county on Mupwang, the mango sticky rice. Um, so we've got, as the name suggests, sticky rice. We've got some mung beans, some toasted mung beans on the top, a salty coconut sauce, and then we've got some of that, some lovely mango. This looks like, I'm not sure this is Thai mango, though. Okay, so I thought Warawan was just showing me this. I didn't think I was actually going to eat this. So this is the uh, everyone's favourite Thai dessert, mango sticky rice. Mm, it's good mango. That's absolutely bang on, you know. I think she's just giving me a small portion. I think this one's for free. This is South, Af uh, South American mango, but very, very sweet mango. Rice is perfect. Nice, creamy, salty sauce on top. Top dessert, but I cannot eat another thing, guys. Guys, so I'm going to wrap things up here because I've got a live stream going out in about 10 minutes. So if you caught the live stream, thank you very much. If you didn't, you can probably go and still watch that. This is going to be going up next week after my next Bangkok video. Um, I will stick links to this market. So if you're in London, you want to come down here and try some authentic Thai food yourself, you can come down and see the crew. Kapong uh, Kaab. For yourselves, don't forget, we need to pack a pal. You need to get the Geng Masamam, Geng Panang for sure. If you like Pad Thai, get the Pad Thai. Definitely get the Kanam Krok. And I will stick prices um, and all that good stuff. I don't need to do English to Thai translation. Still high because you're all English. Um, and this is all in English. So I won't be doing that. I will stick all the other information you need in the description box below so this is going to be my last video before i head back to thailand um so guys thank you very much for watching commenting sharing the videos to all my members thank you very much for signing up to all of you not signed up just please support the channel by sharing and liking the videos guys i will see you back in phuket for the next one